uh, welcome back. Sam Smith is back again with more attention-seeking vulgarity. Uh, they're never one to do things quietly in recent years. We have to remember call him they, there, them, even though there's only one of them. Uh, remember the latex balloon at the Brits? Well, they've taken things up a notch, haven't they, with a new global tour criticised as hypersexualized and satanic. And apologise if you're easily offended for what you're about to see. Yeah, exactly. Well, joining me now is comedian James Barr and best-selling author of The Madness of Crowds, Douglas Murray. Well, Douglas, let me start with you. Uh, I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. Th I'm sorry, they, even though there's, they. Only, one, there's only one of them. Why, why is Sam Smith they? No, please do address Douglas first, but I just need to well, correct just you to if clarify, you're going to is That's how they identify themselves, why is, why is one person they? Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So and what? No one's asked me to. Even the Pope respects people's pronouns now. I don't have to respect anybody's pronouns. Well, that's fine, as long as All that's right. your decision. My cool. pronoun is hottest man in the world. Yeah, well, I'm happy to call you that. Well, Pete. go on then. Some may disagree, but well, yeah, on. Go on, if then. that's what you are, go on, then. then cool, I will address you as the hottest man in the world. Throughout the entire... That is so stupid. That, that is the most dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. And, and please, don't, don't say even the Pope addresses people by their freaking pronoun, bro. People, y'all got to be aware of false prophets. These people that, that claims that they, they love God, they know God, they 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 have a good relate. Man, these people do not, okay? They do not trust. Uh, bro, anyone who is a true believer in Christ, anyone who calls themselves a Christian, they're not addressing you by, uh, you know, they're addressing you by the pronoun God has given you, the gender that God has given you. So if you are a guy, I'm a, I, I'm going to address you as he, him, or whatever. I'd probably just he, because I don't know why I would, him, like, hey, him, no, nah, I wouldn't do that. I'd probably just be he. But I'm going to address you by your gender. So if you was born as a man, you're going to be dressed like a man. You're going to be dressed as a man. If you was born as a woman, you're going to be dressed as a woman. All that changing up, oh, call me they and call me them. You're not going to degrade my my freaking vocabulary so I can fit your 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 feelings and your needs and your wants. Like, no, I already don't have that bad, uh, that good of a vocabulary as it is. If, I over, if I'm over here talking about some, hey, they over there, them over there, I'm not addressing you, they, them, this, and no, it's one person, you're going to be dressed as he, if you're a man, he. Like, come on, man. I'm addressing you by the gender that God has given you, the pronoun God has given you. He didn't give you the they, them, but that's all. Man, come on, man. Y'all need to do better, bro. Entire Throughout the entire Okay, interview. let's stick to that. Douglas, let's come back to you. Uh, you don't have to call me the hottest man in the world, even if you're thinking it. Um, <laughs> Sam Smith. I, to me, he's just on an ever-deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and offensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? Uh, he, he's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock as a means to get publicity. And of course, it's pretty successful. I mean, we're talking about him at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualized stuff, the sort of satanic stuff. Madonna did this 40 years ago. Um, uh, you know, uh, pop stars have done this and more for decades now. Uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing that actually is making people notice him on this is that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. You know, okay, I, he came so out I some years ago. Why do you say, James? I'll bring you he, he came... He came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non-binary, and he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course, he didn't, because there's no such thing. They. But he he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I th sort of think if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. 
um, you know, nice. like uh, taking all these clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is like pudgy and very ugly. And so people look at it hey, yo, and what? he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is he's saying, don't ridicule me. But it's hard not to ridicule people when they present this themselves. Right, well, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, I, what are you talking about? Okay, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. Yeah, we do find it disgusting. No, what you're saying is why disgusting. we're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I am. Keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. It's a, if okay they're going to dress like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely, I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate that listen did I? Douglas yes you did well, have you called have you called me mine hottest man in the world okay. Piers, according to some and yourself yeah um listen the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child why should child anyone of... be compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years I just want to go back as well also another reason I'm saying, okay. Okay. Actually, I think it's yeah. very important to note that other pop stars have done this including Lewis Capaldi who recently did a campaign mm. where he was naked on a billboard and there were nowhere near as many vile <laughs> comments at Lewis Capaldi's body the only reason you can't seriously... the only reason there's a problem for Sam doing it is because you aren't happy with his gender identity because it makes you feel No, insecure. I don't care about his gender identity. I just don't feel I can be compelled to Bro, use pronouns. I don't shoulders? care about it. That's fine. Don't use them if you don't yeah. want to. That's well, wrong, okay. but that's totally Well, you just told me I had to. No, I think you should, but if you don't want to... So I don't have decision. to. Peers, shut up. Well, I'm not Peers. I'm the <laughs> hottest man alive. Right. Okay. Right, so you're um, changing your name now. You're no longer... But my point about Sam Smith is it's just an orgy of, in my view narcissistic, self-indulgent, deliberately shocking stuff. And Douglas has got a point. He doesn't, he looks terrible. Okay, so- Why would you do this? You're friends with Ozzy Osbourne, right? And yeah. Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat's head on stage. Yeah. That could be considered vulgar. I mean, he basically- Ozzy Osbourne the, never did anything like this. He started the COVID pandemic. You and can't you're seriously think about this. Sam Smith getting you their tits out. You can't seriously think what we're looking at here is actually anything other than ridiculous. No, I think it's absolutely fa fantastic. Really? Yeah, I do. I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. I sexy. Think it's inspirational. You think that's sexy? That that is, and I, that's someone Do you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Would you yeah, shag it? <laughs> would I shag it, did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I would have sex really? with them. Really? Thank you for well, asking. You're a brave would you, man Douglas? Than me. Because it sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them, if I'm honest with you. No, 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 I can assure you I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like fat, blubbery show-offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old-fashioned. James? So why on earth are you friends with Piers Morgan? <laughs> Well, you'll notice, uh, you'll notice, of course, that Piers hasn't appeared on this show naked with nipple tassels on. Yet. I mean, that's Yet, one big Douglas. starter, isn't it? Yet. Again, I the just want to... I want to quote the Pope again, because the Pope has done this Why? documentary. Are you a Catholic? Do you think we're all Catholic? I'm not, but Catholics? I think it's... Well, really I am a Catholic, I think so it's, what are you, okay, what are you quoting? So the Pope said that to express yourself sexually is a richness, mm. and that anything that detracts from real sexual expression lessens you and depletes that richness. But he's not... So, Pope's... Calf, bro, no, 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 no. This is not biblical. It, it's not. It, it's truly not biblical. You mentioned the Pope. Th this is the this is the thing with a lot of churches. A lot of churches want to cater to people feelings. So now they they got these little things that they're doing, like the little drag queen to story times in a church. You got male strippers in a church. You got people that's just degrading the church, degrading God, degrading Jesus. Like you got so many people that are just they they, they want to cater to the world's feelings. This is what they want to do. Because the Bible say we have to die to our flesh. The Bible tells us that we have to separate ourselves from the world. We cannot look like the world. We cannot call ourselves the friend of the world because if we are a friend of the world, the Bible say that we are an enemy to God. So therefore, you cannot keep telling me the Pope said this and the Pope said this. You got to know God for yourself. You got to know the Bible for yourself. Have a relationship with God for yourself and you will know that God is against everything that Sam Smith is doing. Like, come on, bro. It's ridiculous. The man is on stage, half naked, in front of 
probably millions of children because uh, obviously this new generation of parenting, they care about the soft parenting so much. They don't believe in whoopings no more. They don't believe in not trying to guard their kid's heart from all the nonsense that's around the world. They believe in taking their kids to everywhere that the world offers them to take them to. Like, this is what these parents now now believe and i know that it was so many kids at these concerts i love sam smith mommy can you take me to a sam smith concert this man is dressed up as the freaking devil as the freaking devil and you're telling me that this is sexy you're telling me that you like this you like a man flicking his tongue rolling his eyes back with some black stuff on the side of his you can't be serious you you have to be joking you have to be you have to be kidding me bro this cannot be sexy to you this cannot be attractive it cannot it cannot be attractive I'm doing this for sexual expression oh dear he's god he's doing this just you don't to even know he's just picking any doing it just to be deliberately Why don't you offensive bro, just go back to clutching your pearls go back to i don't have England. any pearls um, Douglas, are we, look, are we misreading the room here? Are there millions of young people around the world watching this thinking he's the hottest thing on a stage anywhere in the world right now and we should just get used to it? Uh, no, no, I don't think so at all. Uh, uh, no gay guys I know are attracted to this. Everyone thinks it's just kind of ugly and stupid and it's attention grabbing and much more. Uh, I, I think Sam Smith's a person of limited talent myself. I don't much <laughs> care for his voice. Wow. But the point is, is that, of course, he just kind of goes around and tries to make headlines. And as I say, he's pretty successful at doing that. Uh, but yeah. I don't think anyone finds it sexy. I don't know any woman who finds it sexy. I don't know any gay man who finds it sexy. Most gay men I know are attracted to men because they're men. Sam Smith, by the way, is. He's always trying to cough off with people like Tom Daly and things. I don't and think they you don't can speak for all gay men, to be honest with you, what? Douglas. Those are pretty much what? your own words from things I've heard you say before. You can't speak for an entire community. No, so. no, I don't I don't try to. I don't believe there's any such, such thing as a gay community or an LGBTQIA+. Yeah. Plus I, two, I think, two actually, if you think this show is offensive, you should come else. to my stand-up show, because compared Compared to that, what? Sam Smith's tour is a love letter to Christianity and Jesus. Really? So I'll what? see you at my tour. Stop. Bro, don't put no Jesus in this. Don't put no Jesus in this. Please don't. Don't put no. You don't know Jesus. You don't know Jesus. Do you cannot sit here and tell me that this is a love letter to you? Don't know Jesus. He's just as a devil. That's tomorrow. By I did. I did. I. I, I didn't know you were touring, but good luck with that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know what, James? Best of luck with the tour. Uh, you're never going to persuade me, and clearly not Douglas either, that Sam Smith is anything other than an attention seeker. Because... But this whole debate is attention seeking. Isn't being an artist about attention seeking? Well, it Isn't could that the be. Whole point? It could be, but when you're just going to that kind of length, just to be deliberately slobbishly offensive, I think it's unacceptable. But you're doing what you would say is slobbishly offensive. You're doing that right now by saying vulgar things about Sam Smith and deliberately misgendering Yeah, but I'm not them. wearing a Satan outfit. It doesn't matter what you again, decide is right or naked wrong. And, and semi-naked. Like, I mean, and once again, if you act in a vulgar way, you should expect people to be vulgar about you, probably. I think that's the point. If you're going to do what he does, it's a bit like Madonna, you know, when she says, stop objectifying me. What else are we supposed to do with Madonna, <laughs> given that all she ever does is demand we objectify You know what? You're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. I'm not being... a cis anything. Uh, uh, right. Shut up. Sorry. I'm sorry. Just carry... I don't sorry, even know what, did you what just cis say? is. Look, it's what sorry, is what, cis? What did you just say? If you just want to both be. When I was horrible. born, what nobody you just said say? I was a cis. What is a cis? Yeah, hang Listen, on, hang on. I've got to hear what, 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 what did you just say. What did you just say, James? Apparently, our skin color is now relevant. I've got to hear that. We're white men. You've got to hear that. What did you just say? What did you just say? So you're now being viral debate. You're now being racist and calling me a cis, a sissy or something. Hang on. Piers, Piers, wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat it for Douglas. I said you were both, but I can't remember, to be honest with you. Cis you said, I think you said, okay, why don't you shut Cis up for a moment? Straight I think you straight said, man. well, Douglas isn't I think straight. You said oh, that we're both, I, I, I think you said we're both cis, white, straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I don't well, know how old you, you are, for but, not I was, but I was, I was out Douglas. as, I was, I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do a judging other people? Research. Are you joking? I would do a oh little, my God, Douglas, that's the ridiculous. I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing I out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No.
If I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't I want to come so. to your I show. Think, all right. Embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen. You're a shame to the queer you community. You know what? I'll tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> them, I'm not a member of the queer community, working here, working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you I'm who's not a member <laughs> of the queer community. The person who ultimately about, is genuinely embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. Um, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you both very much for <laughs> a picture of sexy Sam. I hate you, stage. Douglas. Okay. All right. So, first off, first off, I I want to say this. You, I don't even know the guy's name, bro. I, I really don't. I, I could care less. I'm not talking about Sam Smith. I could care less for the other guy's name. I know Douglas, uh, but this, 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 this other guy, bro, dude, I, I just know. That people, everybody had to been born with some type of common sense. Now it's hard to believe because we live in a generation where common sense I, apparently you got to pay for. Apparently it costs a couple dollars because it, it seemed like not everybody have it. It seems like not everybody have it, bro. And you are one of the guys who don't have that common sense. You're saying that this is sexy. You're saying you will have sexual intercourse with on that. That is mind blowing, but this like you cannot, you cannot be so naive to what was really going on here, bro. You cannot. When it comes to addressing people by their pronouns, I'm not addressing you by anything unless unless or what you was born as. That that's the only thing I'm addressing you as. So if you was born as a woman, you're gonna be dressed as she or her. You know what I'm saying? Like you, that's what you're gonna be addressed as. If you was born as a a, a man, you're gonna uh, address as he. Hey, look him over there or he or whatever you know what i'm saying like that's what you will be addressed as you're not gonna i'm not addressing you as they them th no because it's only one of you why am i addressing you as multiple people i only address they if i see a group of uh, uh, uh or pe a group of people like hey uh i don't know they killing me right now like i don't know like you know what i'm saying like i'm only addressing if it's a group of people if it's multiple people if it's more than one people like come on man let's be this is it. like this right here Gave me a headache, bro. Seriously. D seriously gave me a headache. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. How y'all feel about Sam Smith. And another thing, bro. Stop a time. Stop aligning Jesus Christ with this nonsense. Y'all need to stop degrading Jesus. You feel me? Like, I understand a lot of people don't believe in Jesus Christ. But it's it's just so funny to me how his how Jesus Christ's name. It's the name that's brought up more than Muhammad. It's the name that brought up more than this. It's the name that brought up more than Buddha, more than Hindu, whatever. It's the name that is brought up more than any other so-called religion, faith-based name or prophet or, or whoever y'all may follow. I don't believe that Jesus Christ is just a prophet. I believe he is the son of God. I believe that he is God in the flesh. That is what I believe. But stop a time, my Lord and Savior, with this nonsense, saying that, oh, this is a love letter to Jesus. Like, no, stop aligning this, aligning Jesus Christ with this with this nonsense, this is not no love letter. This is a man who is lost. This is a man whose soul is completely just, he's lost. He's a lost sheep. You know what I'm saying? He's a lost sheep. Jesus said that he leaves the 99 to find a one. And Sam Smith one day will be that one day Jesus Christ will go after and find. Actually, Jesus waiting on Sam Smith to come to him because the Bible tells us that if he draw near to him, he will draw near to us. So therefore, we just, God is just waiting on Sam Smith. But again, what Sam Smith is doing right now just shows how lost and how damaged and inside he is. Shows how much money he is he is striving after. He's he's going after something that you could rip up and burn that will have no value after you do such things to it. And that's and that's chasing money. Money you could rip up, burn. You could do all that, and it has no more value. He's chasing after that. He's chasing after attention. He's chasing after clout. He want to keep his image up. That's why he's doing the things that he's doing. If you look at Sam Smith before he got into the industry, and look at him now, you can tell the big difference. You can tell when he before he got into the industry, before he signed that contract, to where he is at now. This is what the industry requires of him to do. Don't be fooled and don't be deceived, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, be your boy, Japan. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.